Hi guys. In this video we are going to see about the difference between civil site engineer and site supervisor details. Without delay let's start the video. A site supervisor is like engine in the car. He is the one who gets all the works done. But a site engineer is like the driver of the car. Even if the engine is running, the car will not move properly without the driver. The different job activities of site supervisor and site engineer are Oversee operations on a day-to-day -day basis Study the drawings and execute the work by managing the labor, material, and machinery as per daily planning Ensure that work is done safely, on time and within budget and to the right quality standards The responsibility of supervising the whole site Before work starts, a site manager gets things ready by taking on staff and preparing the site, carefully planning the work to be done and installing temporary offices for site staff. Monitor progress, oversee the delivery of materials and carry out safety checks and sort out any problems which could hold up work as they arise. Supervising the labors at every stage of the construction. Monitoring the work and providing the current status of work to concerned site engineer. Keep in close contact with members of their site team at all times and liaise with architects, engineers, surveyors, and planners. The role of construction site engineer depends on the type of work involved and experience of site engineer in a construction project. The duties and responsibilities of a construction site engineer are Setting out the works in accordance with the drawings and specification. Liaising with the project planning engineer regarding construction programs. Calculating quantity of materials. Checking materials and work in progress for compliance with the specified requirements. Observance of safety requirements. Resolving technical issues with employers' representatives, suppliers, subcontractors and statutory authorities. Quality control in accordance with CSI slash procedures method statements, quality plans and inspection and test plans, all prepared by the project management team and by subcontractors. Liaising with company or project purchasing department to ensure that purchase orders adequately define the specified requirements. Measurement and valuation, in collaboration with the project quantity surveyor where appropriate. Providing data in respect of variation orders and site instructions. Preparing record drawings, technical reports, site diary, daily progress report, monthly progress report, subcontractor bills etc. Tracking up the material wastage. Supervising and counseling junior or trainee engineers. Job review of subordinate staff. If you are like this video press thumbs up and subscribe the channel for more videos like this.